flavor. I think it affects people differently. Some people, if they do it too much, probably are affected. I think it just depends on your body, how, how much you drink. I heard that um, alcohol beverages stunt your growth. I doubt when you're like 80 years old you're going to be like stupid or something because you drink so much. I try not to drink during the week because I have to go to work. I usually drink on the weekends, probably mostly on weekends when we go out. And it's not like every day of the weekend, maybe like a Friday. Alcohol is the number one used and abused drug in America. But what do we really know about how it affects the brain? Okay, so clearly most teenagers think that drinking alcohol won't really affect their bodies. That they'd have to drink like 20 or 30 years before any really bad problems would surface. So about seven years ago, Dr. Scott Swartzwelder, a neuropsychologist at Duke University, was doing some research on the effects of alcohol on rats. Well, the results of those studies surprised even some of his colleagues. So let's just say, hypothetical situation, I'm 16, I drink on the weekends and let's say three times a month I get drunk. I don't need to worry because I'm young. Right? <laughs> well, it depends on what you're worrying about. If you're drinking like that, uh, you're not really going to see the effects of alcohol on your liver or probably your heart uh, for a number of years. But the brain's a different story. So when you were doing the experiments with the rats, how much alcohol would you give these rats? I mean, would you give them like a beer? <laughs> how did that work? <laughs> Well, the amount of alcohol that we gave the uh, rats really corresponded to a rather low dose. Uh, about half of the legal limit for drunk driving. If you get a buzz, it's no big deal. Drink a little bit, makes you feel good, but too much starts to make you sick. I know people that, you know, they get themselves sick over drinking, and that's just definitely too far. But I think if you can get yourself to a level where you're a bit buzzed, uh, you know, you feel the effects, but you're not completely out of it, I think that's about the level you want to be at. And we gave doses that were short of the doses that would have you stumbling around and slurring your words. Mm -hmm. um, probably a dose that, you know, that might feel just like a pleasant buzz. Mm -hmm. And that was the dose that was powerfully inhibiting of learning in the young 